Today I'm going to show you how to paint a rev from Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon, right after this. Hey everyone, Sam here from the Tabletop Hub, your one-stop shop for all things tabletop, and today we are continuing to paint through the Tainted Grail core set. Now we've already completed the four men here, so if you haven't already checked out that tutorial, there's an annotation in the top right of your screen where you can go and do so, but today we're getting stuck into the heroes, which are going to be a little bit trickier than those three big stone guys. Now if you're new to my painting guys, the most important thing you should know is that I am not a professional painter by any means. If you're a beginner, or you're learning how to paint miniatures, I'm right there with you. These guides are my way of showing you my process as I learn and improve, because at the end of the day, if I can do it, you can do it too. So let's get stuck in. First of all, I give the miniature a base coat with Citadel's Wraith Bone Contrast Undercoat because we're actually going to be using some contrast paints to really try and speed up our painting process. Speaking of which, I then took some Militarum Green Contrast Paint and painted Arev's trousers. Now don't load too much paint onto your brush and don't try and tackle too much at once if you do this. Contrast paints can be a little odd to get used to if I'm honest with you. They dry really quickly and they are incredibly prone to leaving streak marks if you haven't spread the paint out enough. But it leaves a really nice finish in my opinion which is why I'm using it here and it also speeds up our process a ton. So just take your time, take it in stages and try your best to push that excess paint into the recesses. Next I got Citadel's Dark Oath Flesh Contrast Paint and began painting all of the areas of skin in much the same way. Take your time, don't rush those contrast paints. If you do find that there are some streaks or anything like that that, that do dry on the flesh tones, don't worry we will come back to them later, it's all going to be fine, you haven't ruined your miniature. Next I used Citadel's Snakebite Leather Contrast Paint and painted a Rev's satchel, his cloth belt and the wheat that's inside his satchel. One coat was enough to get the coverage I needed on all of those areas and with that done, we've actually got the majority of the model already painted in no time at all which is pretty amazing. Next I took Army Painter's Oak Brown and painted the shaft of a Rev Scythe. For the Scythe Blade I mixed one part of Army Painter's Gunmetal and one part Army Painter's Weapon Bronze. I equally painted the Rev's armbands and jewellery with this mixture as well. Now for the cloth that's wrapped around the scythe's shaft, I used Army Painter's Skeleton Bone. And while you're using the Skeleton Bone, feel free to add this to the bands that tie the wheat together in a Rev's satchel. Next, take some Army Painter's Leather Brown and begin painting a Rev's boots and the straps that fasten his books to his legs. Uh, just be careful when you're doing this so you don't get any of that brown paint onto the green because it's going to be pretty tricky to go back and cover that up with the contrast paints. Next I took some of Citadel's Basilicum Grey contrast paint and carefully painted Arev's beard and hair. Now you're going to want to be careful you don't load too much onto your brush as it may run into the skin tones and again it's going to completely mess with our paint scheme here so tiny bit onto your brush, take your time with it, no need to rush. Then I took some of Army Painter's Wizard Orb and I painted what I saw as being a Rev's tattoo. Now it kind of looks like it's part of a Rev's necklace when you look at the model, but I chose to go by the concept art for the character which had a henna tattoo on this part of his arm. Plus I think it adds a little bit more character to the model to paint it in this way. Just note that you may need to add a couple of coats of that wizard's orb until you get decent coverage here. Next I took some of Citadel's Kislev Flesh and added a little bit of water to the paint just to thin it down a little. With this mixture I went around the skin tones of a Rev and, and added some subtle highlights. I paid most attention to his face and the raised areas of his chest. Now if you did have some streaks when using the contrast paints, this is a really good opportunity to, to try and mask those if it makes sense to do so. Now don't feel you have to overdo it with highlights, just add them to where you feel they may make most sense, just the, the raised areas of his skin where you think more light would hit. For the base I gave the ground a coat of Army Painter's Dark Stone and painted these stones with Army Painter's Uniform Grey. Now the ground was then lightly dry brushed with Army Painter's Leather Brown where possible before I added some Citadel's Nuln Oil to the stones just to darken the recesses. I equally added that Nuln Oil to Arev's boots and boost straps just to darken them a little too and help them blend uh, with the, the darker tone of the ground. 
Once this had dried, I dry brushed the stones with Army Painter's matte white. And there we have it, one hero complete. I am really quite happy with how this miniature turned out, and I, I definitely feel like the inclusion of the flesh tone contrast paints have definitely helped me improve the look of the skin tones when painting overall, which is something I've, I've really struggled with in the past, getting skin right and, and doing faces correctly. Uh, I don't think I mastered the face in this one, but I think I'm definitely getting there, adding that Citadel contrast paint into my repertoire. Now I'm going to be coming back to Tainted Grail to finish off the other heroes we get in the core box, so if you want to be kept up to date with when those guides go live, you can hit the subscribe button here on our YouTube channel, or you can go over to tabletophub.co.uk, sign up for an account, and you'll be able to see full written painting guides uh, of all of the guides that we do here on the channel, uh, and I'll leave a link to the guide for this video uh, down in the video description. But for now, folks, I hope you're all having a great week, and I will speak to you all very, very soon.